Hey, what's going on today, guys? It's Trey. Welcome back to the channel. As always, welcome back to sunny, beautiful Germany. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the huge mistake that I made at a German rest stop on the Autobahn. So stay tuned. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, we live here in Stuttgart. Obviously, it's in Baden-Württemberg, but we actually went to Frankfurt to pick up my wife's parents at the airport. And while doing so, I actually ended up having to use the restroom. I couldn't hold it. So we basically made a pit stop at a rest stop, something that I never really do on road trips. And I went to the public restroom. Now, while I was walking out of the public restroom, I actually noticed that this lady in a white coat, essentially a white lab coat and white pants, followed me from the restroom to my vehicle. So at first, I actually thought that she was just a beggar or an individual that was asking me for money because that's kind of what I'm used to in the US when you stop at public places. People ask for money, people request money, they request food, or they just simply beg for anything that you might have. So really, that's what I thought I was dealing with in this situation. But what I didn't know is apparently in some places in Germany, I guess it's a requirement to actually pay to use the restroom. Now, this was a huge mistake on my part. Honestly, I'd never really heard of this before. I had to get on the blogs and research this a little bit, but I've actually noticed that in some places in Germany, you are required to pay the restroom attendant. Now, being an American, if somebody were to ever ask me for money to use a public restroom, I would look at them like they're crazy. And honestly, I would consider that person to be a scammer because I'm not paying to use a public restroom. Now, I know here in Germany, things are very different. And I can tell that just by going out in public and seeing that you do sometimes have to pay to use restrooms. That's not something that we do in the US at all. Now, in my head, I'm thinking a few things. Do I pay this lady? Do I not pay this lady? What happens if I don't pay this lady? Is this lady going to reach out to the authorities? Am I gonna be breaking some German law? I didn't know what to think in this situation. And honestly, my wife was pretty confused as well. This is just something that we're not used to. We obviously know that you have to pay to use the restroom some places here in Europe, but I had no idea if you're stopping at a public rest stop I had no idea that you had to pay an individual to use the restroom. But so basically what ended up happening is I ended up walking away from the lady. I got to the car and I noticed that she started taking out a pen and a notepad and she started to write down our license plate. So at that point, I basically told my wife, hey, like we should just pay this lady to avoid any, I guess, wrongdoing or to avoid breaking German law? Who knows? We were just really confused. And honestly, we just wanted to get the hell out of there. So upon walking back to the ladies, I guess you can say point of sale system or her POS system, I noticed that she actually had money lined up. So she had been making good money on that day. She had been making good money or honestly, it might've just been old money and she was making it look like she was legitimate. But anyway, I paid her Babe, how, how much did we pay her? Yeah, so we ended up paying two euros to use the public restroom at a rest stop. Now, I'm sure my German subscribers probably got a good kick out of that, and I'm sure the German audience is gonna really get a good laugh about this situation. They're either gonna call me a clown, they're gonna call me smart, they're gonna call me out, they're gonna tell me what I did wrong, they're gonna tell me what I did right. I'm, I'm honestly just pretty confused about this situation because even the American blogs here in Germany, I see so much dialogue about this type of experience. Do you pay? Should you not pay? What happens if you don't pay? Where does that money go towards? Is this, is this like some scam that takes place in Germany? I honestly don't know how to feel, but I will say I think I made uh, the right decision by paying this lady. But at the same time, I feel like I should have just painted on some clown makeup at the end of the interaction because why would I pay two dollars to use the restroom at a public rest stop. It doesn't make any sense. You know, as I mentioned earlier, like in the US, I wouldn't pay a penny to use the public restroom. I'll go find a tree somewhere in the woods and I'll, I'll relieve myself there. <laughs> Wait, my, so my wife made a good point. If you're at a club, so for example, we're from South Florida, right? If you're at a club in South Florida, Chicago, LA, it doesn't matter. When you use the restroom at a club, bar, anything, 
There's gonna be somebody that's standing there with like soap, cologne, cigarettes, gum, just the crate, fruit snacks, like the most random of things. They'll help you wash your hands, they'll give you soap, you know, do this, that. That is one situation where they will try to get money from you uh, in the US. And sometimes I feel kind of bad where I'll, I'll tip them, you know, because they're going above and beyond. And that's really the only environment where like most Americans would pay to use a restroom. But anywhere else, it ain't gonna happen. I-95, Miami, nobody's paying at a rest stop to use the restroom. Alligator Alley in Florida, nobody's paying to use the restroom. You know, the the five in California, I couldn't even imagine paying to use the restroom. It's just, it's just something that is mind blowing. In fact, we drove all the way, or one time I drove all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio, all the way to Southern California. The entire time, you know, I, I used the bathroom a few times, but I never saw anybody even asking for money. So it's really something that's rare. And like I said, if you do see somebody doing that in the US, 10 times out of 10, it's 100% a scam. So I'm sure this is probably an entertaining video for a lot of you, but please let me know down in the comments section, do you pay the restroom lady to use the restroom? Maybe somebody can explain the history behind it. Like I'm, I'm sure there's some really in-depth reason behind this interesting situation that takes place in public restrooms at rest stops and in public places here in Germany. So. As always, thank you guys for the continued love and support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.